Hello everybody, I am back, and today we're continuing with the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught a bunny and ventured through the Eterna Forest. And yeah, that's pretty much all we did. But it's Buneary, and her name is Scarlet. And she's adorable, and that's really all to say. We still have Squishy. We still have Sinatra, the shiny bug. We still have Honeybun. And Batman. And now the team really hasn't changed. And now we're going to finish up the rest of Route 205. Can't catch anything here since we caught Squishy on the other hand. But we can fight some fishermen. I've netted me a feisty trainer. He has a Goldeen. I'm positive there is one guy somewhere on here that has a team with nobody but magic cards. Just six magic cards. So yeah, that would just be, I guess, some good experience for Scarlet. Since Bunyuri does have the lowest friendship in the game, it will be a while before we can reasonably evolve her unless I run around in circles off camera. So, I want to get her to battle as much as possible. If only because battling raises happiness. I want to say this is in Gen 4, but I know for sure it's in any Gen past, Gen past and including Gen 5. Is that fighting any gym battle increases a Pokemon's happiness. Yep, here he is. Six level eight Magikarps. Versus my one level 16 Scarlet. Yeah, she can probably one shot all of these. Ooh, it's a level 16 Magikarp. And it it knew it knows tackle. It just was dumb and didn't use it. And this one's a level 10 Magikarp. Which means all it'll know is Flash and I move first in this. And yay, a level for Scarlet. And a level 12 Magikarp. Squishy is currently the lowest level now. Hmm, what type could this hidden power be? It could be electric. Okay, it's a type that resists, that water resists. Alright. Wait. I'm not sure whether or not I did that right. One sec. Because the things went fast, I want to check if it actually made the not very effective sound. Alright, awesome, it did. So what, uh, there's only four types water resists. And those happen to be fire, ice, steel, and I think rock? Either rock or ground for the last one. The hidden power grounds, so that's kind of really useless. Yeah, fire, ice, okay, fire, ice, steel, and itself. So if it's hidden power, water, that's useless. It's not hidden power, fire, because I use it on some wormholes. So it's either water, ice, or steel. Hmm. Or right, not what? No, yeah, no. water, ice, and steel. So one of those three types. 
plot twist, it's a Gyarados, except it's not. It's just a level 14 Magikarp. It's one level away from being actually able to tackle me for negligible damage. And that's over and done with. Alright, next guy. You fished up some tough Pokemon. Oh, you've got three! Really? Really? This game is going to throw all the magic cards at me. I don't even have one anymore. Poor magic crap. However, I can fish up another magic card and turn a city as my turn a city account, I believe. Or that might be I know there is it. I'm pretty sure you can get something here. Alright. Typical Dean. And Mud Bum's running out of PP, which isn't great. Alright, now it looks like it's just surfing or. I mean, if I wait for the good. Wait, I can get an egg here. Never mind. No, wait a minute. I want to say the squishy, squishy, squishy. <sighs> Why can't squishy fight anything without missing? Scarlet just finished this. Mm -hmm. If the Togepi says obtained from Cynthia, I can fish up another Magikarp here. To replace magic crap. Why can't Okay, I need to know what Mud Bomb's accuracy is. I need to know what Mud Bomb's accuracy is. Eighty five, okay. Well, that would explain why Squishy couldn't hit anything. A guard spec. Alright, cool. And then up here there's a honey tree. And then let's, let's just get these berries. Cherry berry. A petcha berry. Pick a peck a peck of berries. And then an orange berry, and then another orange berry. And we're off. Now here we are in Eterna City. I'm not entirely sure if the egg says obtained Cynthia or not, but I can catch things. So, yeah. Seeking and catching things. Oh, here's Barry. Roy. Anyways. Now, we're gonna go to the Pokemon statue. What the? So, this is Eternus Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space, in an intertwining spiral. It's like DNA. They're totally related to Deoxys. Hoenn confirmed. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. 
Pardon me, stand aside. And then he leaves. A brilliant flash of information came to Roy from running into me. An easy way to become a great trainer. All your attacks hit and avoid enemy attacks. So he's pretty much saying spam double team. Okay. Now over here is route 211. We can catch something. Let's do that. You can catch stuff like Meditate in here or a uh, Well, it's one level away from evolving. <laughs> and since it's female, it might, you know, actually. Like, all the female Bidoofs that I've encountered have just been pretty much. Like, especially in episodes 2 and 3 and so forth, they were nightmares. Alright, just gonna use a heal ball on you. Although it's actually, that was actually really pointless. I know I like heal balls, they're cute. I like their little sparkle when they come out too. If I had caught Sinatra in a heal ball, it would have been double sparkle! And that would have been fun. Alright. I will name you... Yeah. You know what? I have no idea where this name came from, but I kind of want to name you Helga. I don't know why, but you are now Helga the Bidoof. And I need to go get you out of the dead box. So yeah, Cynthia I don't believe appears until after you beat either the gym or Team Galactic. Or right now! Hi, Cynthia! <laughs> oh, that device you have there is a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello, Dawn. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you, except I'm also the hardest- one of the hardest battles in any Pokémon game ever. I've been studying Pokémon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternus City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokémon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokémon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know, try using this, it should be helpful. And we have HM01 Cut. Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you, like that building over to our right. That's important for filling out your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. And please give her regards to Professor Rowan. Uh, Cynthia. Cynthia? Cynthia, I thought you gave me an egg. Well, let's go get Helga out of the dead box. She does not- she isn't in there with Justin yet. Maybe eventually. No, I don't hate Bibarel, actually. Bidoof's kinda cute. And yeah, I actually have seven Pokémon now. Let's check out Helga. A bashful nature and simple. Awesome. Simple is great because Bidoof gets stuff like Curse. So Big Barrel could become a Curse Sweeper. <laughs> now, I believe if we go right into this building, we can talk to you. I am! I'm the first to have gone underground and dug some tunnels! You can call me the Underground Man, everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. And the Explorer Kit. We'll instantly take you underground. So yeah, this is one of my favorite multiplayer features in any Pokemon game, aside from the PSS, because nothing beats the PSS, let's be real. But yeah, how the underground works is, when you hit this Explorer kit, you can save the game. takes a while because saving is really slow in this gen. Saving is really slow in this game. <laughs> there. 
I mean, everything's slow in this game, but... Oh, hi, Rourke! I forgot you showed up. It's been a very long time since I've actually had a new enough file to the point where I saw the first Underground cutscene. Welcome to Sinnoh's Underground. Huh, where is this, you ask? Doesn't the writer make it obvious? It's a giant underground network of passages underneath Sinnoh. What are you doing down? It's kind of hard to answer. You can do pretty much anything you want down here. This is where the secret bases went, so for anyone said, who says they're only in Hoenn, they're here. They aren't as, like, region-wide, but it's still an incredible feature. For instance, if we go right here, we can find a trap. Traps, how traps work is... You can bury a trap here, and then when someone steps on it, if that was a move trap I'd show you, but I'm not sure how the microphone works on this, so I'm not going to risk it. Because I don't remember off the top of my head what this does. But when people step on this trap, they go flying. Or have some other effect to aid them. That slows them down so you can continue play, play and capture the flag. Here, maybe this is a better example. It's another confused trap. But... If you were to go right here, we three confirmed. Oh, there's a note tucked inside the explore kit. Yeah. So there's a sledgehammer and pickaxe. Basically, the th number three confirmed is the number of items. And every time we use the hammer, or the pickaxe or sledgehammer, this bar fills up. Once it gets to the left, the wall collapses. One try! One try! Yes! That's why I came down here in the first place! Yeah. <laughs> awesome! Shield on! So yeah, now we can get a shield on. Ooh, it's- oh, it's a leaf stone! Awesome! This was a really good one explanation! <laughs> And it's gone. So I don't know what the last one is, but since you fully dug those out, I have an armor fossil so I can go get a shield on and a leaf stone. So I can evolve stuff. So yeah, these sparkles in the wall are treasures. And I guess since this is apparently now part walkthrough, which I, I might do a walkthrough, a specific walkthrough of this. Because Gen 4 is my favorite gen of all time. I know we'll it probably more about, definitely more about than any other gen. But anyways, I don't have a digger drill just yet, so... I can't do anything with secret bases, but I'll come back once I do. So now, let's go up. And, hmm. There is one, wait, can Baneri learn Rock Smash? Because I was about to say, I don't have anything capable of learning Rock Smash since Aerosmith died. Actually, nah, I'd rather give it to Helga. So yeah, I'm gonna give Helga Rock Smash, and then run back to Orberg. I have to go the long way since I don't have a bike yet. And revive Shilohan. So, I'm gonna deposit Squishy just because I want Scarlet in my party. Oh wait, I don't have cut yet. So I'd have to go all- you know what, I'll do it off camera. I'll go get shield on off camera and I'll show you guys shield on at the end of the next episode. But yeah. We can also go get our Mount Coronet encounter, or Mount Coronet apparently. Oh, it got dark, okay. We can also fish here if we really want a Magikarp. I don't want another Magikarp, admittedly, because later in the game you can catch Gyarados. And our, it's another Bidoof. So even if I, if Helga wasn't my first encounter, I would have gotten Helga anyways.
And over here, there's a suspicious lump. Except it's a ninja boy! Zubat! Doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from undercover? I know. Zubat! Yeah, not feeling it. <laughs> Anyways. Unless it's Hidden Power Ice. Ooh, I could try that. Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, let's see if Squishy's rocking Hidden Power Ice, because that would be the most useful. It's either ice or... S okay, types that resist water. Yeah, it's, it's either water, ice, or steel. Because I used it on a zoo at. But I think I went over this at the start of the episode. Alright, Squishy. And it's not ice, so it's either water- it's either completely useless or almost completely useless. <laughs> because if it's water, it's just gonna be outclassed by Surf once I get it. If Squishy's still alive by then. And currently outclassed by Water Pulse right now. Just because Water Pulse has the Confused Chance. And more PP. And if it's Steel... There's exactly one type steel hits for super effective damage in this generation. Rock. So, yeah, it's actually kind of useless either way, which is a huge disappointment. I, know. I like Hidden Power. I think it's a cool idea. I wish there's a physical version of Hidden Power. For all them physical attackers that could use extra coverage. Since, let's be real, most physical attackers' coverage is Earthquake. Unless you don't learn Earthquake, in which case, I don't know. Special attackers have more options because of Hidden Power. They can just slap on whatever they need. Like a Hidden Power Ice that would kind of be useful right now, because then Squishy could at least somewhat fight the Grass types if, for some reason, we lose everyone else before them. And also, Squishy's... Kind of getting cropped here. I don't know why. Confusion. Okay, but he, he hit it. Squishy's definitely my worst team member, even if I do like him. Your Zubat Tri-Stars. Okay, what would my encounter have been if it wasn't one of those two... Okay. <laughs> so, if I didn't catch Helga, and I didn't catch the other Helga, I would have still caught Helga. There's just no getting rid of Helga. <sighs> Anyways, let- I wanna go catch something about Corne. Yeah, I'm never gonna break that habit. It, to me, will be forever known as Mount Corne. Oh, a matcha! I would have wanted you, I just had to get through three Helgas first. <laughs> Too many Helgas. In the play underground. But anyways. Squishy. Alright. I'm a bit nervous about the leader. But I'm two levels higher in a pretty solid physical defense, and I'm not heavy. So I think Squishy will be fine. I need that quad resistance really badly. Sinatra is incredibly frail. So it's just best to go straight to Honey Bun here. Yeah, good job, Honey Bun. I can count on you. And then Okay, I'm gonna just teach Scarlet Rock Smash. I want- you want to be big like Mount Korane one day. So you're gonna be as big as an obstacle that splits the entire region into three areas. It's pretty big. Yeah, Mount Korane is actually really interesting. Because basically the Sinnoh region is split into three. The west side, the east side, and the little northern bit that everyone seems to forget about. Which I think is really cool. 
even if it means a lot more caves than you'd see in any other region. I actually really like it. And... Good job, Squishy. Onyx! That's just Squishy's... That's really the Squishy's main purpose. Just kill rock types, because nothing else on my team is capable of doing that. And a level up for Squishy! Alright, so I'm gonna get my encounter in Mount Coronet. There's some fun stuff you can get here, like Cleffa, Geodude, which wouldn't be that fun. Nosepass. Hey, it's Bronzer! I like you. I. You know what? I really want to use you. Bronzong is my absolute favorite steel type. And, yeah. As a Gen 4, it has only two weaknesses. Steel Psychic. It has weakness to ground and weakness to fire. Additionally, Bronzong's two abilities are Levitate and Heat Proof. Meaning no matter what, it only has one weakness. You know what, I want to check if it's Water or Steel or not. Water or Steel. Because if it resists this, it is part... Steel, okay. <laughs> Drat. It's hidden power steel. I can hit rock types for weakness, which I can already do with both water and ground. Or I can hit... Um, no, that's really all steel does. <laughs> Fairies don't exist yet. Alright, please don't kill it now. I really want to use Bronzong. I really, really want to use Bronzong. Going into Nala because Squishy's asleep, and Steel resists pretty much every move I could possibly throw at it. So I'm really just going into Nala for the sake of hitting it twice and then throwing some Pokeballs like that. Um, let's just use a regular Pokeball, since Heal Ball's pointless since it's going straight to the PC. Yes! I love Bronzong. Absolutely love it. There are researchers who, who, researchers who believe this Pokemon reflected like a mirror in the distant past. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything I could... I want to reference the Phantom Forces Bronzong. That's one of my favorite cards of all time. I'm just not sure how. It's a... I could go with something like a bell. This is dumb. This is probably dumb. Eh. I'll just do... Hmm. Hmm. This is hard. Um. I know Bronzong was believed to have been the rain, so. Alright, this is the best I can come up with. No, that's dumb. I could be at this for a while. <laughs> um, I will call you... Cloche. Because it's Bell. But it's in French, so it's slightly different. Okay, what would I have gotten if I had not gotten the bronzer? A Meditate, yeah, I would have taken a Bronzer, personally. I'm gonna get 
Rock Smash for Scarlet, and then I'm gonna go get that item over there, and then we're gonna go so and get that other item, and then, hmm, I guess I'll fight a trainer in the Eterna Gym. Oh, Sinatra can smash rocks, huh? I'd rather give it to Scarlet, though. But how can Sinatra smash rocks? He's like little tiny arms. Oh, I'm a cricket. Fear my rock breaking abilities. Actually, a cricket that can break rocks would be pretty scary. Aerosmith! It's even the same level, too! <laughs> That was dumb. That whole thing with Mars was dumb. That whole thing with Mars was just dumb. It's using magnet. Crap! Squishy's asleep! <laughs> I should have used an awakening. I should have been more prepared. I should have given Squishy Fire Emblem to play. Oh my god. Uh. Guess seems like the least awful option here. Okay, it went for rock polish, but honey runs slow. It was thank Oh my god, thank goodness it was dumb. Which makes up for me being dumb and not giving Squishy an awakening. And a level up for Scarlet. Yeah, I'm actually probably not. I'm probably just gonna look at. Oh, I don't have an awakening. Chesterberry? Yes. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna look at Klosh and call it an episode here. And go fight those guys out there. An ice heal, okay. Okay, super potion. Scarlet, regular potion, squishy. And another Pokemon! It's a bronzer, how am I so It has some tape. Cool. Really? Nella, can you just please take care of this? Really? Uh honey bun. <laughs> Really? 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 Uh, Scarlet? I'll try once. Okay, thank you, Scarlet. Scarlet? One more try. Batman! This is dumb. This... Mount... Screw you! Screw you! Batman? Okay, thank you for missing. No, because Bronzer's confused. Let's try Sinatra, because everyone else is asleep or confused or does pitiful amounts of damage. Thank you for missing. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Batman. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not going to get that other item. I'm... Now I can't confuse it. Come on! Come on, everyone's getting experience. Everyone gets experience. Only 24 experience. 
and half my team is asleep. Please don't be a geodude, please. No! It's a- No! No! Come on! Squishy, would you mind to wake it up, please? No. Squishy? Squishy, I need you to wake up. This thing can sweep my entire team if it gets a move off. Well, this is dumb. I'm just gonna end the episode after this battle. Thank you, Squishy. The bronzer! Seriously, Clutch wasn't that difficult. Alright. Now that that pile of crap is done, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Bye bye